Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel, Reg Mahina. And ngayon, uh, we're going to cook a very simple recipe and it's popular in Visayas or in Cebu. So, I'm craving for the Niba di Cebu. Okay, so these are my ingredients. Very basic ingredients, guys. And so I have there the chopped uh, pork belly. So I choose to have a lesser fat, so mostly it's meat. Okay, so I have here uh, my chopped onions. Okay, chopped onions, chopped garlic. Okay, so I have here my green chilies. Okay, and then uh, black pepper. Okay, and also you need to have a bay leaves or dahon ng laurel. Okay, so I have also here the ground, bell, uh, ground pepper. And you have salt. Of course, we need vinegar. And soy sauce. I already heat the pan. Okay, yan check guys, yung pan natin. Right? Mahinit na siya. So, first thing we have to do, gigisahin lang natin yung mga uh, ingredients. Actually, pwede naman siya hindi gisahin. Pwede siyang i-boil na lang lahat ng like, um, vinegar or soy sauce. But I just want to show you my uh, version. Okay, so gisahin na natin. Not really much na ano, uh, oil because mag-oil na yung pork. Okay, so... Make sure your pan is heated na before kayo mag okay? Before you steam it. Okay? So this is one of the popular and very easy to cook. Okay? Matagal na rin ako hindi nakakain ng pork. So, yeah. Okay lang yung basta hindi lang always. Okay? Isa lang. Okay. Hindi lang natin siya i-overcook because uh, i-simmer natin yung pork. Okay? So, while waiting, itagay na natin yung ating pork. So, ito siya one, one and a half kilo pork belly. Of course, we have to wash it properly. Touch it. Okay. Okay. So, wala masyadong kaba. Um, balance lang yung ano niya. Fat and the meat. This is really nice. Okay. And then, we can add our salt. Okay. Salt will be half this month na kasi we have soy sauce. So, para hindi siya maalat. Half lang. Then, we can add later on yung kulang pa. Okay. So, there you go. Okay. And also, the ground pepper. Maraming ground pepper, guys. Lagay na rin natin yung um, cold black pepper. Okay. Ayan. Alright. Okay. And of course, the vinegar. So, the vinegar, less lang for me because I don't want na ano, medyo ano siya. Sorry. We'll start with the soy sauce. Soy sauce tayo. Siguro mga 4 tablespoon. Pansya-pansya ko lang naman. Ayan. If kulang, you can add like your muna guys. And then suka, maybe 2 tablespoon because I don't want it really sour. I just want it balanced lang siya. Okay? Alright, so and of course, our bay leaves para mayroon siya guys. Mabangit. Okay? We'll add bay leaves. Alright. Okay? So we will just leave like that. Can you give me the cover, please? Kakabur lang natin siya, okay? For about 45 minutes. Okay? And I'll be right back. A few moments later. And guys, I make it one hour. So, ito na yan. Because I added boiled egg, okay? Request kasi nila. Mas masarap yung may boiled egg. So, as you can see, caramelized na siya, guys. Inadan ko lang siya ng konting water kasi nagsimmer siya. So, maubos na tayo ng sauce. So, yung finale natin, lagyan na lang natin ng brown sugar. Siguro mga one and a half lang kasi nagka-caramelized na siya. Para balas yung taste niya. Okay? And this is ready to serve. Okay? Ito siya, guys. At saka, nilagay ko na rin yung ating green chili. 
you can have more chili as you wish, but because I don't need spicy, I'm going to take it out this okay? And I'll show you the finished product of my adobo misaya. Thank you. A few moments later. Hi guys, welcome back. So ito na yung ating finished product ng ating humba bisaya. So as you can see, na caramelized na siya guys because I added a little brown sugar para mag uh, ano lang siya mag mix lang yung mga ingredients. So hindi siya masyadong salty or sour or sweet. Okay, balance lang siya. Okay, so I will link down below the description yung mga ingredients on how to cook the humba bisaya. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment down below for my future vlogs. Stay safe and God bless. Bye!